Most traders lose and most traders make the same mistakes. Watch this video lesson, learn from those mistakes and don't make them. What's up, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here. I'm teaching hard learned lessons over 20 plus years. I can't guarantee you that you're gonna be my next millionaire student, but I can guarantee you that I'll teach you everything that I know. Everything that I have learned over two decades, I never had a mentor, I never had anybody uh, teaching me, so I had to lose a lot of money sometimes in order to learn. I'm trying to help speed up your education. Right now, as I'm filming this at the end of 2021, let me timestamp it because right now I have over two dozen millionaire students. If you click the link below, you can apply for my trading challenge. If you click some more links below, you can subscribe to these free YouTube videos. You can click like on this video, help me get more students. Um, I appreciate it because I'm trying to, what's the word, revolutionize this shady AF industry, okay? Most traders lose. Let's be honest about it. Let's talk about it. I'm proud to share all of my trades over 20 plus years. Yes, I do lose a third of the time, but my wins are bigger than my losses. So this is the key to growing your account. What's a big mistake that people make? Not cutting losses quickly. Rule number one for me, I'll post a link to my blog post with my favorite rules, but rule number one is cutting losses quickly. I lose a third of the time. Sometimes in different markets, I might even lose half the time. But my losses are $50, $100, $200, whereas my wins are $500, $1,000, $2,000. If you win more often than you lose on a percentage basis, and you win more on a money basis, like $500 as opposed to $50, your account will keep growing over time if you stay disciplined. If you ignore the rules and you say, no, I believe in this stock and you let your losses run and you get emotional, you will lose. You can't be emotional. If you are gonna be my next millionaire student, you must be disciplined. One small loss doesn't matter. It might hurt your ego, it's not fun, it might be a little frustrating, but it is okay. Do not let any loss just slip by and say, oh, it's okay to just be undisciplined because it's not. Any one small loss can turn into a potential disaster and it's a very slippery slope once you lose that discipline. All of my millionaire students and I have had big losses, but all of my millionaire students and I have learned to minimize them. Do not get stubborn. Do not let a small mistake turn into a potential disaster. Second mistake people make. When I say my gains are bigger than my losses and I say small gains add up, People specifically try to scalp. They try to make a penny a share, two pennies a share, and they're like, oh, Tim, you said small gains add up, so let me try to make 20 bucks here, 30 bucks here, 50 bucks here, I get it. When you specifically try to make a penny or two per share, 30 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, one of those times you're gonna be wrong, and it'll wipe out a day, it'll wipe out a week, it'll wipe out a month, it could wipe out a year especially if you're one of these scalpers where you get very confident and you make 20, make 30, make 20, make 50, make 20, and then you go bigger and you're like, let me try to make 300. And you go bigger and then you lose five grand, okay? Scalping does not work. I, I wish that I could you know, get you to understand that, and I know many people will ignore that. People will be like, ah, shut up, Tim. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm making a little every day. If you try to aim for such small gains, it's gonna catch up to you. Every now and then I do take small gains, but that's not my goal. And I know that's like a little nuanced, but the reality is I'm trying to make 5%, 10%, 20% on every position. I never go into a trade trying to make one or 2%. If you see me take one or 2% as my gain or my loss, the trade did not go according to plan. So for me, it's about taking good trades and not aiming for such small trades. Trust me, I've tried scalping in the past, it doesn't end well. I know many students who have done it, it doesn't end well. You can ignore me, I know many people watching this video will, but like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna teach you everything I learned the hard way over 20 plus years. So, so far we've gone over two rules, cutting losses quickly and don't scalp. Number three is you don't have to trade all the time, okay? You do not have to be in the market at all times. I know this is confusing for some people. Some people say, what? My money is just sitting there. I wanna put it to work. Let me invest in this stock. Let me put it in this crypto. You're taking random trades with random patterns. You're gonna get random results. 
The key to my success is, again, cutting losses quickly, not scalping, but taking good trades. I don't need to trade. In fact, you'll often hear me say, I'm a retired trader. And you might be like, what? Tim Sykes is a retired trader? You're, you're a full-time trader. You have a business teaching other people trading. How can you say you're retired? It's a simple mindset trick. If I say that I'm a retired trader and I don't need to trade, and I say, nope, I'm on the sidelines, cash is also a position, it allows me to be disciplined and focus on only the best setups. You don't wanna be in some crappy setup just because you wanted some action, you wanted to gamble, you felt your money wasn't doing anything, and then you're in a bad setup where it's like 50-50 odds, and then a good setup comes along, but you're focused on this other one. Maybe you put all your money into this bad setup, so now you have no money for the good one. Maybe you're focused on this bad one, Maybe you are in a bad one, you have a loss, but you don't want to take the loss, and then you see a good one, and then you're like, ah, you don't want that conflict. I would rather have no position at all. I would rather miss not so great of a trade if I'm not sure, if it's not one of my go-to patterns, than to be disciplined, okay? I want to be disciplined. I don't want random trades. If you take all these trades where it's 50-50, 45-55, maybe 55-45 in your favor, but if you start to run the, the models and you start to back test and you start to see this pattern that you're trading is not very reliable, you're not gonna do that well. For me, I focus on patterns that I know very well. Morning panic dip buys, buying multi-day breakouts into the first green day, ideally OTC stocks with a news catalyst and big volume. If you click the link below, I just actually filmed a video while I'm here in this LA studio on a first green day play on AABB. I don't care what the stock does in the future. It fit my pattern, so I took it. It didn't even matter that I was filming here. I stopped filming and I go went and, and made that trade. It's okay to stop your life. It's okay to stop filming if there is a good trade but it's because I have this patient mentality where I'm like, I don't need to trade, but if a trade comes out and it pulls me out of retirement, I have to take that trade. Otherwise, I might feel so guilty missing that trade. Think about that for a second. I know this is counterintuitive, but I don't want to miss a trade that I would feel guilty about missing because it fits my pattern so well. I will come out of retirement so that I don't feel that guilt. Like an aging sports star who misses the, you know, limelight. Where it's like, oh, I retired, I'm too old, my bones and joints hurt, oh, I'm retired. And then no reporters interview them, they have no fans, they have no groupies, they sulk and they, all they do is take Percocet all day. Then they wanna go back into the NFL or NBA or MLB. They want the limelight, they want the ESPN interviews because they know that if they're not featured on ESPN daily, they're just gonna sink into a Percocet ridden depression. That's how disciplined I wanna be. I don't wanna be on the sidelines. And I'm not saying take Percocets, I'm sorry for making that analogy, but it's true. There are these aging sports stars who come out of retirement and they absolutely suck. They probably should have stayed retired, but they don't know how to not be in the limelight. I'm just using this as an example where I want to get back into trading, even though I'm not retired for more than a few hours or a few days, okay? I don't need the recognition. I appreciate when you guys come up to me and meet me. I'll take selfies, that's cool. But at the same time, I don't need to trade all the time. I don't need to be in the limelight all the time. If somebody asks me, oh, I made X amount today, how much did you make? I'm perfectly fine answering zero. Or sometimes I have a red day every now and then. Gasp, yes, I lose. Gasp, yes, some days I don't trade. That's the reality of being a real trader as opposed to these fake Discord promoters, okay? I know that there's a lot of promoters these days in 2020 and 2021. They've opened their stimulus account checks. They think that the rules have changed. Nothing's changed, okay? The rules apply to everybody. We might be in a bubble, but when the bubble ends and you're following some promoter, it's not gonna end well for you. I encourage the promoters to spike stocks up as much as possible. I want the promoters to do as much coke as possible and spike these stocks. That gives us better opportunities. But I don't want you following anybody else. I want you to be self-sufficient. Self-sufficient, patient, disciplined. 
These are the keys to success. This is why I create millionaire students. And yes, I have some weird analogies, but I got to get you thinking differently. I don't want you following other people. I don't want you following hot picks. I don't want you letting a loss turn from a 30 to 40 to 50% loss. Even if the stock comes back, that's terrible discipline. You got to learn the right rules. And it's better to learn it when you have a small account at first. You don't want to have a big account and learn these basic lessons. God forbid you make too much money and you don't necessarily have the right lessons and then you don't have risk management and then you're trading with millions of dollars and then you lose a million dollars and you learn the hard way. It's good to trade small. It's good to start small. Paper trade. Use stocks to trade software. I'm a proud investor in the company. I'm a proud customer. Start small, learn small, aim small, miss small, get bigger over time with more experience. Click some links below, leave a comment below, let me know if you're gonna be disciplined, if you're gonna be patient. Don't be one of these Percocet addicted retired athletes who comes back to play their sport and yet they suck and then they realize their life is over.